Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name's Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this box. This is actually relatively new or very new here in Australia. This is the Ubiquiti G4 Dome. Maybe when you're watching this video, it's been out for years. But this is the Ubiquiti G4 um, Dome. So I'm just going to show you what's in the box. It's not meant to be a technical overview, but I will show you as many of the parts and what they can do as possible. All right, here's the camera, which we'll have a look at in the moment. Let's go through the box. We're gonna get a little a specifications guide. You're probably gonna put that aside. Um, do remember, this is part of the Ubiquiti Unify product range. You do need a controller for this. So you need the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus or the UNVR um, or the UDM Pro. All right, so you do need a controller to manage it. Right, um, you're gonna get a little sort of welcome card. Not more exciting than that with a QR code just to remind you what you need to do. You're going to get some um, wall lugs. Um, you're going to get some small screws and get some longer bolts, which we'll talk about in a moment, which relates to this, um, this metal disc. So if you have a false ceiling, well, let me talk about this first. This is your locking plate. All right, just hold that up. Hopefully it comes into focus. You're going to screw this to the wall or your ceiling, your flat solid surface. Once that's in place, um, you lock this into place. All right, and your camera will then stay as you want it, this way or this way. If you've got a false ceiling, um, you can take down the ceiling tile. You're gonna put this metal plate above the ceiling, this plate underneath it, and bolt the two in place till they've clamped together, all right? And then again, lock the camera into place. So that's what that plate is for, all right? And then you do get a mounting template, as you can see here. Make sure I've got it up the right way. Probably not this way around. All right, so you can see it's got all of the points to drill and you've just got a nice little level there as well to get that the level that you need. It also usefully indicates where your uh, ethernet point, your ethernet cable needs to come in. Right, so it is a PoE powered device, 48 volts. Let's just have a look at the practicals first. So like we said on the bottom here, um, you want to put your mounting disc in place. Um, once that's clipped into place, if you need to release it, your releasing switch, your release, releasing hole is just here, which will unlock your plate that we talked about and allow you to remove it. Obviously, it's going to be that way up, but allow you to remove it. All right, then on the back. Now, this is, I think, is IPX4 rated. Um, honestly, I would not put this personally outside. Um, but probably in an undercover, under an eaves or an alfresco era, this would probably um, work okay. It has a speaker and a microphone um, which are exposed um, and it has this plastic cup, cap which we'll show you about in a minute. So it's probably not ideal for full weather conditions. So you do have a lug here that we're going to take out. This is just going to keep insects and dust um, out of place or out of there. Let me hold this up. All right, hopefully that will focus there for you. Got your ethernet in um, and then just there, um, you have your reset switch. So you're going to feed your ethernet cable in through the tiny hole that's there, um, through the casing here, um, and then fix that uh, into place. All right, so that's the outside portion or the bottom of the camera. We have um, a speaker there in the middle and two microphone pickups on the side. So it's two-way communication. So you cannot uh, mount this somewhere and you can actually talk back through it as well. That's most of the outside of the camera. Now, obviously once this is locked into place, you're gonna have some limitations of making sure that that physical camera is pointing in the right direction. So once it's locked in place, the plate that you mount will actually move. So you can see there's about a 90 degree uh, ability to move. So that's from the one point, and then if I keep moving it back, all right, that's to the other point. So you do just wanna make sure you mount that exactly in the right place that you need some flexibility with it, uh, like that. Okay, so then to the camera itself, um, we're gonna just take that uh, off. All right, once we're in, um, then we can uh, change, we can't change it sideways, but we can change it up and down the actual direction that it's looking. All right, and then we're gonna put our plastic cover back in place. That's why I say I wouldn't put this, completely expect this to be weather tight because you're gonna get condensation and plenty other um, moisture around that. So this is the G4 dome. This is the 4K. It's only a four me megapixel camera. So it's a 4K, i.e. it supports 1440p. 
Um, the G3 series only was HD, so 1080p, um, but it's only a four megapixel camera. But it's fantastic, it's got night vision, so you've got um, IRs on there for distance. Like I said, it's got microphone and speakers. Um, it's got some access move that way, take the cap off and you can move the camera that way. It's a fantastically PoE um, powered device, um, really sturdy. This is probably about twice the weight of the G3s um, and it's solid um, and I would trust that probably outside but not um, where it's going to get hit by rain directly. Do check out our YouTube channel, we've got plenty more box openings, we've got plenty um, of how-to guides, what do you need to run a Unify network, for example, where we talk about PoE switches, which controllers you need, and some of the cameras. So do check that out. Uh, why not subscribe as well? Um, you catch up then with any of the new products that we come out in the wireless networking and firewall space as well. But hopefully that's been useful. My name is Paul.